How's it down? It's an old goose reader from Geraldine. So yeah, a month or so ago I was invited over to a truck show in Australia, eh? You know, bloody good time, met some fantastic people, had some good yarns, you know. They're getting a bit late at night, I'd you know, sunk a few 4X beers, eh? And you know, I thought, I'd better go home. So I started wandering off home and I was getting out the gate and heard a rustle on the tree. I thought, what the hell's that? So I look round and, you know, here's this bloody Kenworth driver with his hat, hat on and, you know, his cheap $2 bloody sunglasses, you know. It's kangaroo, tiny kangaroo down, sport, tiny kangaroo down. I'm like, fucking hell. It takes all sorts. Aussies, no surprises there. So that's all right. Carried on up the road a bit further and heard some more noises in the trees. Eh? Thought, what the fuck's that this time? Looked in the trees. Here's this bloody ammo. Come on, Skippy, give it to me, boy. Come on, yeah. I thought, like, bloody hell. So that's all right. Just, just ignored it, you know. If you know, ignore things for long enough, they go away. So I get back to the motel and now up, up the stairs, and there's this old guy, one leg fucking jerking off, you know. Who are you root and get your knob right up? Okay, so I went into the manager and complained. I said to the manager, So I've just come from this bloody truck show. I get out the gate, and here's this Kenworth driver rooting a kangaroo. Bit further up the road, in the trees, there's this bloody ammo getting it on with a kangaroo. Now I get back to the motel, and there's this old guy with like one leg having a bit of a mess there. And he looked at me and he said, Robbie, he said, he's only got one leg. How the fuck do you expect him to catch a kangaroo? So anyway, 